The Hill Sun Red. <clears throat> it took me a little while to finally watch this movie. It's now on Tubi, finally. It's about a young guy named Tyler. He's very interested in movies. He's researching this type of legend that there's a lost movie out there that's so controversial and so hardcore that only a couple people have seen it and it appears to be like a lost movie. So he does some research and his girlfriend and one of his best friends tags along. On this trip, he finds the director's daughter who is an exotic dancer and who has issues with addiction. So he basically keeps her in a hotel room for several days trying to detox her of her personal demons. And in return, she gives him a tour of where her father filmed this extreme movie and they go and see all of the sites and whatnot. And Tyler interviews some of the locals about this mysterious movie. And unfortunately for Tyler and his girlfriend and his friend, they start to feel like they're being watched. They start to hear strange noises in the night while they're camping out in the wilderness. And so this movie was pretty cool. It was 82 minutes. It has its fair share of gore and it has some decent twists. It kind of has that plot line from the movie Masters of Horror. It's called Cigarette Burns. It's a similar plot. They're both about like cursed legendary movies wherein people watch them and something terrible happens or the movie was considered so extreme and hardcore that it never really saw the light of day aside from a brief screening. So, and this plot line was also used in an episode of American Horror Stories. So, um, it's a pretty creepy movie. You get a lot of gore, you get a lot of chase scenes. Um, and I love the look of the killer. Uh, he has this baby face mask, which is really uh, eerie and creepy. Um, I really like Sophie Monk. She plays the exotic dancer here, and her father is the famed director of the mysterious movie. Um, she doesn't really seem to do much acting anymore these days. Uh, her last movie, I think, was a remake of an older movie. I'm having trouble remembering it. Um, but like I said, she seems to do like hosting jobs now or reality TV. But uh, I really liked her as an actress. She does a really good American accent, um, despite being British. Um, so anyway, yeah, she does a lot of, uh, sexy poses and dresses up in sexy outfits, so if you're a fan of Sophie Monk, you'll probably enjoy this movie. And I also really liked Janet Montgomery. She's British also. She's known for the TV series Salem. And she was in Wrong Turn Part 3. Um, I think she's a decent actress. She has a sweetness, a likability um, in these types of horror movies. And she really gets put through the rainer in this movie. But I'm going to try not to spoil it. Give it a watch. It's on Tubi, The Hills Run Red. 2009, I want to say about 82 minutes. More like 76 minutes, actually. 
Uh, so it's a pretty short movie, but it's worth watching if you like these type of plots and slashers. And that's it. I'm going to wrap this up. I've been talking for a while. And if you enjoyed this movie, um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.